Got it now. All right, so um, I'm joined with Jen Marie. She is a Kentucky singer, songwriter, and uh, I am wearing a Jen Marie shirt. Oh, um, yay. Looks good. This is the shirt that you gave me at Overtones uh, a couple months ago. Uh, big shout out to uh, Warren and Renee Cobb. They do a fantastic job with the show, um, showcasing local artists like yourself. Um, so with all that being said, uh, Jen, let's talk about how your musical journey, how did it start off for you? Oh man, um, well mine is definitely uh, church related. I grew up in a very religious family. We went to church man, many, many nights a week. So uh, I started out, both my parents played. So my dad played guitar and bass and sang. And then my mother played um, piano and sang. So we were always a very musical family, you know, growing up. Dad, when I was younger, wanted me to uh, play bass in the family church band, but wasn't too into it at the time. So I did not learn how to play bass. I wish I would have, but I did sing a lot. Um, and then I guess when I was about 17, 18, started college, I was also a single mother. So um, mostly I was home, living at home with my parents, going to school. And uh, so that's when I picked up guitar and started learning to play just so I could back myself up vocally. So when I was at Overtones a couple of months ago and I saw you perform, um, you sounded amazing. Your band sound amazing. Um, you. You're, you're part of a band. Um, talk a little bit about the band that you're part of. Um, how did y'all got together? Um, shoot, the show that you saw, the Overtone show, was only my second show with that band. Um, and we had just started playing together the last few months um, as a full band. Now, Patrick um, and Nate, uh, my husband Nate, who's also on guitar, and then um, Patrick Shoring, who plays as well with Hot Brown Smack Brown down out of Louisville. Um, he's kind of, they, those two have been around since at least for a year now. We've kind of just been picking up little things here and there. They've been backing me at shows, but not as a full band and writing as a band, mostly just them kind of being there with me and backing me. So uh, I'm super excited about the transition with the band right now because um, all the guys have such different backgrounds um, than I do. And then um, some, you know, my bass player has got a, a jazz degree and so he's, he's he does the bass thing and in fact he just sent me something on guitar that he's writing um that we uh we were, we're just talking about it and, and the things that they're doing now to allow me to open up a little bit vocally um so i'm not having to focus on what my limits are on guitar for for my songs and for my songwriting so finally after that show that we had that you saw we're at a position to where as a whole band we can write together now rather than it being me making the guys learn all my songs so they can back me up. <laughs> so I'm really excited about that. It was such an amazing time seeing them. And when they always be like, yo, you got to check these people out. Uh, so you, you got some true supporters like when they convincing oh, me yeah, she's to great. go check these local ads out. And uh, I left very satisfied. I got a copy of the CD and I do have again this shirt, Jamie <laughs> shirt. Um yeah. so that's the beauty of Zoom because now we get to uh, no, I'm, I'm expanding with this radio stuff and I'm now get to do stuff like this and you know see people. I'm used to hearing mm -hmm. the voice through all these yeah. years of doing radio. So it's pretty cool. Nice. Now, you and so many musicians been through so many challenges over the last year and a half because of this pandemic, not being able to perform for a while and venues had to shut down for a while. And fast forward to 2021, live music is back up and running. And, you know, from your perspective as an artist, as a performer, how does it feel just getting back to performing in front of people again. Oh, yeah, that's a big change because, you know, I went from 
you know, my last band, which was, was I was in for a few years, my ex, where we had more of a kind of a bluegrass folk kind of feel to it. Um, I played a show in, oh, I guess my last show was in October of 2019 and then didn't play again until I did um, a, a, a live stream. It was almost a year later. And then so now, like, you know, finally getting out this past summer, it's, I feel like I'm, like starting over almost, you know, because not only was I in the transition of, moving moving physically moving but then also genre moving um with my music just a little bit so it was it, it seemed like just as I was getting started with being my own person again and being my own band again um COVID hit and shut everything down so it kind of put me on a little bit longer suspension than I had planned on being on so then you know on top of being down from the transition and then being down from COVID it was really it was really uh, nerve wracking, I guess, just a little bit for me personally, um, getting back out there and trying to get my name and uh, music back out there and, uh, and then have, have such, such a battle with it, you know, with things being shut down and sickness and such. So as a fan of local music and a supporter, it does feel good to get back to going to shows again and seeing mm -hmm. people, especially those that I haven't seen in a while um, and overtones have been the way to, that kind of lure me back to going to shows again. So yeah. um, they um, they do great with their shows and, and Renee and, and Warren and everyone that makes that show possible. Over 100 oh, yeah. plus shows and counting. Um, that's quite the milestone within itself. Um, so, you know, as we approach the fall season, I think a lot of us are looking forward to the fall, things cooling down a bit with the weather. Yeah. Um, what is next for Jim Marie um, as we approach the fall season? Now, as far as upcoming shows and maybe yeah. some more new music in the works, perhaps? Oh, yes, definitely. Um... So I would really, really like to at least to get a couple singles out um, to get me through the fall while the band's writing the new stuff. I mean, we've got several songs written, but I'm not quite ready to take them into the studio. I feel like um, as this this group, we need a little bit more time just to feel more comfortable with each other and, and be a little bit tighter before we take it into the studio. But I do want to at least get them back to me on a couple of um, singles of my newer songs that they've been playing with me. So um as far as shows, uh, the next show we have coming up is not until October 16th, and that's going to be in Frankfurt at the Sigalicia Brewery. So I uh, play for a two-hour set there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start out the night kind of as me, maybe with, you know, a little accompaniment, maybe a guitar and, and from Patrick and Nate, you know, have them join in and do a few of my older songs, hit a few covers, and then have the band join in on the songs that I've written um, in the last year that are not on an album anywhere and we'll play through those and then try to end the night out a little rocking um, with about you know a couple of new ones that we've just recently kind of just test them out see how they go so I'm excited about them but they're they're a little heavier than the rest so we'll close the night out that way but I think it'll be a good transition you know to kind of have the more mellow stuff at the beginning and then kind of bringing the rest of the guys up towards the end of the night, finish it out. So we start at seven and play till around nine or so. All right, so that's going to be at Frankfurt mid-October. So if you're in the Frankfurt area, if mm -hmm. you felt the need to get you some friends and get your drink into, we'll sponsor yeah. you, of course. Um, yeah. Go there and uh, check out Jen and her band. And I kind of, I do like the approach that you're going with this particular show, you know, mm -hmm. calm, calming things down and then get, you know, get, get things going, get the adrenaline going as the show mm -hmm. progresses. So I, I like yeah. that approach. That's pretty awesome. Um, so um, for what I've heard in the 2018 album that you put out, um, mm -hmm. I, I've got a chance to hear it. Uh, and such an incredible album. 
um, an EP for that matter. I love mm -hmm. it. You know, just just amazing music. Your vocals are amazing. You're just so talented. Um, so uh, I say props to you and to everyone that made that EP possible. And I am so looking forward to your new music um, with, you know, whether it's you as a solo act or whether it's you mm -hmm. and, and your bands getting um, for more familiar with each other, which I respect yeah. that because y'all just getting things going and y'all need mm -hmm. some more time to jail per se. And, and that's and that's yeah. very important, especially when you yeah. when a new band gets together. Um, so that's 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 something yeah. to keep. But in I mind. mean, I'll definitely, I'll definitely, I'm going to be continuing on doing my stuff, you know, as the solo and the two to three piece thing, you know, especially for a little bit smaller shows or whatnot. You know, I'm still going to continue to write my own stuff separate from the band and continue that road as well, because. Um, you know, lyrically, that's how I get out a lot of things that are going on in my life, you know, and maybe it might not be something that's suited for the band. So you never know. But yeah, I'm excited about it for sure. You can check out Jen Marie on her website at jenmariemusic.com. All her infos on there, her old music up to this point, YouTube, SoundCloud. She, she's out there. She is out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, October... Mid October, Frankfurt. Mm -hmm. Check her out and her band. And I'm yeah. familiar with that spot. Um, I've been there a couple times with the homies, with the friends. And uh, yeah. it's a nice spot, especially if you're feeling thirsty and getting yourself. Yeah, some... and they got the patio, which is nice too. So yeah, probably... yeah, that patio is something else. Let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, Jen, it was great chatting with you. Yeah, Have you well. on. And on this um, Zoom, um, I'm enjoying these Zooms. I'm enjoying to, you know, seeing people this mm -hmm. way. And I uh, hope to keep doing the, more of these for as long as I can. And it's also pretty cool to do this because all these years I've been buying shirts and CDs and stuff. And I can, for one more time, no, show up, <laughs> you know, be a model for for Jen Marie's shirt. It's one of, one of the last shirts you have left. So I'm glad I got one of the last ones. So it's pretty awesome. So it was a it was great to meet you at yeah, Overtones wow. and great to have you in this interview. Thank you so much, Jen, for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it. And thank you for dealing with the technical difficulties. <laughs> which That's okay. you, which you were not see when I put on a um on YouTube, that's going to be edited out. So I no feel problem. like it didn't happen. So um, continue success. And who knows, I might see you in October. I might make my way to Frankfurt that night. All yeah, right, I'm that'd like, be awesome, yeah. yeah. Hope to see um, you out because yeah, it'll be, it'll be different. I'm, I'm really excited about it. I'm definitely excited about it as well. You enjoy the rest of your night. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Right. Thanks again. Thank you. All, All right. right, have a good one. Bye -bye. All right. That was Jan Marie uh, on this interview. And I uh, just want to thank again to everyone for joining me 